Um, so along those lines, what's like the best way to please you as a woman? Oh gosh. Like, cause you know, different, that's the thing too. I think a lot of guys think that like every woman's the same in terms of what they like and that's not true. So what yeah. particular to you is. I've wondered why men think that. And I think it's because, um, all dicks are different too, but it's the basics, you know, it's just the basics. When you play with the dick, I, I could get any dick hard mm -hmm. without you telling me exactly what you're into, mm -hmm. I think. But, um, every vagina is, is very different for me. I'm so lucky. I'm so sensitive and so multi-orgasmic and, um, a lot of it is mental for me too. Like, a lot of it is like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Like mm -hmm. onset or off. Mm -hmm. um, so like physically, what can you do? Gosh, I'm so easy. Like I love kissing every scene partner. When you were talking about the big dicks and bodies mashing into mm -hmm. each other, I was talking about this during my live show last night too. Because I said some performers try to avoid kissing or don't kiss. I said, if you're going to do a scene with me, we're going to make out like it's high school. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like we'll be in the middle of fucking and I could feel them trying to pull away to create that separation for the mm -hmm. camera to come in. And sometimes I'll even hear the uh, director say, open up, which means separate as much as you can beside your genitals and let the cameraman in. And sometimes mm -hmm. a guy holding a light and five other guys <laughs> and um, they'll go to pull away to do their job. And I just pull them in closer, just mash my face in them. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get some of mine this time too. But um, I've come in almost all of my scenes and I'm very multi-orgasmic and um, I've had a few performers, but a lot of directors be like, Aaliyah, you could tone it down a bit. We don't need you coming that much or Aaliyah, um, you could be quiet or there's one director who won't hire me anymore because he only shoots in hotel rooms. And he's always like, the scene you did for us is one of everyone's favorite scenes, but you're just too loud. And yeah. I said, I'll be more quiet this time. He said, no, you won't. So, um, I'm very over the top in my scenes and in personal life, but it's, I'm not faking it. That's just how I am. And Sex is kind of like a, a chance to be dramatic and over the top. And mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> it means like the ultimate connection between two people. Yeah. So I'm turned on so easy. If you kiss me, if you look me in the eye, if you talk dirty to me, any sort of pussy looking gets me going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm really easy. But I always say, um, if you want to know how to please your woman, just ask her and she might be too shy to just say with words. I've, I've been, I remember before porn guys, guys saying that, like, what do you want me to do to you? And I was like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like, God, why are you putting me on the spot? No, I feel weird and awkward. <laughs> oh my God. Now I don't feel sexy. At all. Um, just do it. Just do whatever you're going to do. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just lost my train of thought. So ask her, but if she's too shy to tell you with words, she will tell you with body language. When you go down on a girl, they try really hard to show with their body or sounds mm -hmm. what they like and what they don't, I think. You know, yeah. some girls will grind their pussy into you more or move away a little bit or... Yeah encourage you or get louder. So you got to ask them. Every vagina is different. I can't even figure some of them out. Yeah. You know, I had a, a great episode with Melanie Curtin last week. Actually, if you haven't listened to it, you should go check it out. She's a sex researcher and she's done a lot of studies on men and women and, you know, what women like and how to improve your sex life and, and, you know, men dealing with, you know, issues in the bedroom, erectile dysfunction, whatnot. And she's done a ton of research and we were just talking about how, um, you know, men can get aroused, I think in like five minutes or something is sort of the average women can take anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes wow. to become fully aroused. Yeah. So wow. first of all, I think that's such an uneven playing field. I'm like, wow. why did God yeah. or Sharita Villa, whatever you want to call him, <laughs> um, 
why why should did they lie? why did they make it so uneven between men and women that's such bullshit yeah. that's like really unfair and also why does it have to take us so long like i mean i know for you it sounds like it's not that way but it is for me it does take yeah. me a while yeah which is why i, I one of the reasons I could never be a performer because like I am, I am hard. I'm a, I'm a difficult key, lo- key to unlock, lock to unkey, lock to unlock. <laughs> let's, let's just go with that lock to unlock. Um. <laughs> 